So guys, welcome to another episode of my FIFA 16 Super League career mode with Real Madrid. Yes guys, this series is back today and I have a few things to talk to you guys about before we head into today's episode. We haven't had an episode of this series for about a week and the reason for that is I have upgraded my PC to now a gaming PC. So now my PC is going to make uh, my videos faster, more easier and I cannot wait to make videos on this new PC that I have picked up yesterday. So yeah, that's the reason why I haven't uploaded for a week and also for all you guys that do follow me on Twitter and you know keep up to date with the channel, you guys will know that I used to make my videos on a laptop. I will not be using that anymore and like like I did say, we haven't had an episode of this series for about a week and it is because the previous episode did get corrupted. Yes, the gameplay in the last episode did corrupt, which means that we have lost that footage. I've tried my best to reclaim the footage, but it just isn't going to happen. So to kick off today's episode, like I did say, this will be a bit different. Uh, to kick it off, we will be just let, I'll be letting you guys know what did happen in the last episode. I've made a few notes right in front of me guys and I will be going over those notes to kick off today's episode just letting you guys know what happened in the previous episode like I did say so the gameplay did get corrupted so let's take a look at what happened in the last episode you guys can probably tell that we are now in January of 2016 yes we did hit the January transfer window in the last episode as you guys can see from this headline, Modric wanted to leave Real Madrid and Luka Modric did get sold to Arsenal for £33.5 million. After Modric did get sold for £33.5 million, I decided to go for, say, a backup striker or a second striker in our squad behind Sergio Aguero, and that player was Cavani. I did put in an offer for Cavani, and we're waiting for PSG to come back and respond to that transfer offer. Like I did say, we're now in the January transfer window, and as you guys can see, we did play a game uh, in the last episode, like I did say, but we did lose that game 2-1 to PSG after being 1-0 up. PSG came back in the second half to score two goals. It was a pretty good game, to be to be honest. So we did lose against PSG in, uh, like I did say, the last episode. So we're now in the January transfer window, so in the comment section down below, let me know on players you want me to sign. And before we say end off this recap, you guys can see that we're sitting fourth. We're going to take a look at the league table. So resulting in that loss to PSG, they are now sitting one point ahead of us. But they have played 19. We've only played 18. Guys, if we do win our game, our upcoming game in today's episode against Atletico Madrid and Roma do lose their game, we will jump up into second position. It is very tight at the top of the table in the Super League. Barcelona in sixth, Arsenal in seventh, Manchester City in ninth Chelsea down in 13th with Manchester United in 14th and you guys can see that we've suffered our second defeat and Bayern Munich are still sitting in the first position so that is the end of say the recap of the last episode the footage that did get corrupted so hopefully you guys are now up to date on what is happening in this series we will be ending off this Super League career mode this week because next weekend we will go back to the Leicester City career mode. But guys, let's jump into it. The first game of today's episode. We're still in the January transfer window. I need your comments down below in the comment section on players that you want me to sign. Your suggestions in the comment section down below. Like I did say, go ahead and click like if you do want to enjoy today's episode. Subscribe if you are new around here. Let's head into the first game of today's episode. Let's head into it, guys, against Atletico Madrid, the first game of today's episode at the Bernabeu. Like I did say, I hope you guys are now up to date in this series, what has been going on. If you have missed any episodes of this series, there will be a full series playlist down below in the description. Go click on the playlist link and catch up on the episodes that you may have missed. We are... Obviously sitting fourth, you guys did see the league table, but if we do win this game and Roma lose their game, we will jump up into second position. What a series this has been, guys, and let's take a look at our side for this game. As we take a look at my Real Madrid side, there are a few changes for this game. Jesse Rodriguez will be starting on the left wing. Ronaldo as the striker, as we don't have another striker because Aguero is out injured for the next two weeks. Casemiro and Kovacic has also come into the midfield, and Caviar has come in as the right back. There are plenty of changes for this game, but let's take a look at the Atletico Madrid lineup for this game. It's Jackson Martinez will be starting up front alongside Vieto Carrasco out on the wing. Hamsik in the midfield, the former Napoli man. 
man. Godin as the center back of black in goals. Pretty decent Atletico Madrid side, but they have missed, left out a few players. But let's jump into it, guys. Let's try and pick up the first win of this January transfer window. Wide. Here goes Bale down the wing. Has some space. Plays it inside to Cristiano Ronaldo. Takes a few touches. It looks a play through. Hamas Rodriguez, Hamas Rodriguez has got there. And guys, after eight minutes, we have got off to the perfect start in this game. Ronaldo with the through ball. Very well done there from Hamas Rodriguez to actually get to that one. Wasn't the best balls from Ronaldo. But Hamas Rodriguez has put that one into the back of the net. And we lead Atletico Madrid 1-0 to Hamas Rodriguez. Who plays it to Ronaldo? Here we go on the attack. Who plays it through to Bale? Like I said before, Atletico Madrid's defense is all over the place, all over the shop. Casemiro, who plays it through. Jesse Rodriguez, shot saved, and Hamas Rodriguez is there. It's 2 0 after 32 minutes. But Hamas Rodriguez has scored two goals in this game and he has been on fire in the first 32 minutes. Jesse Rodriguez with the shot, but Hamas Rodriguez was there. The deflection off the goalkeeper, it's 2-0. Vieto on the ball for Atletico. Their first chance of this first half, still going. Plays it inside, Carrasco with the shot. And no one goes way off goal, but this first half has been us dominating Atletico Madrid. It's been a fantastic first half. Let's hope that we can go into the second half, maybe pick up another goal. Maybe Hamas Rodriguez can pick up a hat-trick. Let's find out. Pepe Contrell plays at Kovacic. Wide, Bale who takes the touch. It's Gareth Bale with the shot. It's 3-0 after 55 minutes, and this hands down has been the easiest game in this series so far, Atletico Madrid have done barely anything, barely no attacks, they had a chance in the late stages of the first half, but really did nothing with it, but guys, this is hands down the easiest game so far this season, it's 3-0 against Atletico Madrid. So guys, after the 90 minutes, it is going to end Real Madrid 3, Atletico Madrid 0. What a game. We were all over Atletico. Could have maybe been 4-0 if we did put our chances away. Atletico had a few chances, but their chances weren't really on goal. Hamas Rodriguez with a fantastic first half. Definitely man of the match. But after this game, guys, we're going to have to continue in this January transfer window trying to sign a few players during this transfer window. Like I did say, comments are appreciated when you guys are letting me know on players you want me to sign. So this is a great way to start today's episode, a 3-0 win against Atletico, and let's push on in this January transfer window. This is how the league table does look after all teams have played 19 games. We're now in third position, three points behind Roma as they did win their previous game, and Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich are still sitting in first with 43 points. We're six points behind them. PSG are in fourth with 35, Juventus in fifth with 32. Really, it's going to be between us, Roma, or Bayern Munich, which does come down to who is going to win this Super League. It's going to be very tough, guys, but I really feel like we can still do it. Even though we're two games behind Bayern Munich, I still feel like we can win this Super League. So guys, let's jump into the second game of today's episode. We still received no news for the transfer offer of Cabani. So let's jump into the second game of today's episode against Inter Milan. Let's jump into it, guys. The second game of today's episode against Inter Milan. Can we make it two wins from two games? That was a great performance against Atletico. Let's hope that we can do it again against Inter Milan. I think we previously did play Inter Milan in the first game of the Super League season. And we did defeat them 1-0. But now we're at the Santiago Bernabeu. Let's try and pick up another win against Inter. They're down in 17th, so they are struggling in this season so far. Let's take a look at my Madrid lineup for this game. Obviously, still no Sergio Aguero. He's out injured. Ronaldo, Bale, Jesse Rodriguez, Hamas Rodriguez. Pogba and Tony Cruz are back into the side. Danilo will be starting as the right back also for this game. As we take a look at the Inter Milan side for this game. They actually played quite well the previous time we did play them. Let's take a look at the Inter Milan side for this game. Hadanovic in goals. Montoya as the right back. Icardi and Palacio up, up front. Hernandez in the central attack and midfield position. Freddy Guarin also in the midfield. Miranda as the centre back and the former Newcastle man Santon as the left back. Let's jump into it guys and try and make it two wins in two games. This attack guys, we just can't find that final option. Pogba through. Jesse Rodriguez plays it. Pogba with a touch. Paul Pogba with a shot. 
And could you imagine if Pogba picked up another goal? This man has been unstoppable in this season so far. And he just puts that one wide. Well, Inter on the attack again. It's Akadi to Hernanez with the shot. And David De Gea does what David De Gea has done so well in this series so far. Pulls off a save. Great save there from David De Gea. It's a corner for Inter Milan. Hernanez is actually going to take the corner. Cross comes in. Hena, yet again, De Gea with another save. This man has been unstoppable in this series. But yet again, resulting in that Inter Milan. Another corner. Hernanez with the corner. Crosses that one in. And De Gea collects it. Rodriguez. Jose Gaia. Tony Cruz with a touch. He's going to take it. Shot. Tony Cruz. What a goal. That is similar to Pogba's earlier goal in this series. For you guys that have been following this series, you guys will know that Paul Pogba scored a long shot. I'm pretty sure it was against Chelsea, and it was from the exact same distance as Tony Cruz has scored that goal. Guys, we lead into Milan 1 0. Really, our second attack of the game. Inter Milan have done very well to hold us from not having clear chances on goal. Tony Cruz with a fantastic strike, a fantastic goal from Tony Cruz, and we lead into Milan 1 0. Danilo looks to intercept it, but Inter Milan on the attack. They want to get that goal to make it 1-1. And they do in the 67th minute, straight from kickoff. Inter Milan on the attack, and it's the newly substituted Stefan Jovetic who has scored. It's now 1-1 against Inter. Inter have played very well in this game, and what a goal it is from Jovetic. That was a very strong ball from their man, but Jovetic had to put his body over that one. It came off the crossbar, but it went into the back of the net. It's 1-1. The game is going to end. Real Madrid 1, Inter Milan 1. We draw 1-1 one, one to Inter, and Inter played very well in this game, guys. They did very well in this game. So like I, can, like I did say, it is going to end 1-1. One, one. We're going to pick up one point from this game. We dropped two points, to be honest. These are the games we should be winning if we do want to keep up with Bayern Munich at the top of the table. But that is going to be it from the gameplay in today's episode. I will be ending off today's episode a bit differently. Uh, in the comment section down below, I've had, I have had loads of you guys to tell me to show you guys the stats of the Super League. Who's the top goal scorer? Who's the top clean sheets? Who's uh, the top assist? And let's find out. PSG have accepted my £25 million offer for Edison Cavani, and we're going to go in and try and sign him. I'm going to give him 175000 per week. He wants 200000 I'm not going to give him that. I'm going to give him crucial first team player. There we go, guys. Cavani has accepted the contract, and Cavani is the first signing in this January transfer window. If you guys want me to sign any other players, drop it down in the comment section down below. But we will be ending off today's episode a little differently. In the past couple of episodes, I've seen you guys in the comment section asking me to show you guys the top goal scorers, top clean sheets, top assists, and just stats overall in the Super League. So let's take a look at it, guys. In the Super League, Diego Costa has scored the most goals with 13 goals in first. Rooney's in second with 10 goals. Mandzukic is level with Lewandowski, Thomas Muller, and Boney, surprisingly, on nine goals. We have a Real Madrid player, Gareth Bale. Sitting with seven goals. Ronaldo scored six goals in the Super League. If we scroll down a bit, we will also see Sergio Aguero. He is on five goals in the Super League. Top assists, we do have Javino who scored uh, who's got seven assists, sorry. Ribri is in second with six assists. Aguero and Bale in fourth and fifth with five assists for themselves. And the top clean sheet is Manuel Neuer. We all know that Bayern Munich have been unstoppable in this season so far. So he's a top clean sheet. He's got 11 clean sheets. De Gea is in second with eight clean sheets following Joe Hart and then Bravo. Yellow cards and red cards, none of our players are in those categories. So guys, that is how we're going to end off today's episode of the FIFA 16 Real Madrid Super League Cream Mode Series. I'm back to daily uploads. I cannot wait to bring you guys the rest of this season. It is going to be... A uphill battle to try and win this Super League. It's going to be a very, very tough 
end of the season. Obviously, we're going to still have to play the likes of Barcelona, PSG, Chelsea, Manchester United, Dortmund, Bayern Munich again. It's going to be a very, very hard uh, end of the season. But if you guys did enjoy today's episode, make sure you go support it by dropping a like rating. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for the latest updates on the channel. Drop a comment down below on players you do want me to sign. Click subscribe if you are new around here. And guys, I'll see you all tomorrow for another episode of this series. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all on my next video.